Heyo, duckies, and Lippy here, and we're back with another advanced OBS tutorial. This one is using a website, so you can use any mobile device as a webcam for free inside of OBS. Just like this one, dead easy to do. Before we get into it, make sure you do like the video, also subscribe for more future tips, and check out some of the other videos. Put your rock for the stone, let's go! First thing we want to do is get on your mobile device. So whether or not you're using an, a phone, a tablet, a laptop, or a PC, anything like that, anything with a camera and access to the internet, we need to jump to this website just here. So you're gonna search for obs.ninja. It's a free website. It does help if I don't press backspace and press go. Uh, we get three options once we're on here. Uh, add group chat to OBS, add your camera to OBS, and create a reusable invite. So they all do pretty much what it says on the tin. If you want in a group chat to OBS, you're going to use the top one. If you just want a single camera, uh, you, you just select the second one. And also the reusable invite is if you're going to be using this a lot with the same people, rather than have to copy the link that I'm going to show you later, you can just use the same invite over and over again. So it becomes a little bit easier when adding it into OBS and constantly doing the same things so it doesn't get repetitive and annoying. So to get this all up and running, we're just going to hit add your camera. It's going to ask you if it wants to use the, the microphone and camera. We're going to allow. And then it'll take a couple of seconds and it'll look like it's kind of loading the video, but actually look like it's playing a video at the same time, which is a little bit strange. Uh, the video source just here, you can choose whichever cameras that you've got on your device. It'll do a, a check if you on a computer, which I'll show you in a different video. So make sure you uh, do subscribe. I'm going to show you some of the other things that you can do with this and what I'm going to be using this for on my channel. Uh, and you can choose which video source you want, whether it be a capture card or webcam, anything like that. Press the settings button, you can change the resolution. So if you don't have a very smooth stream with this, you can bring that resolution down to get the best kind of uh, smooth as... Smoother is better than higher quality, in my opinion. Uh, and you can also choose the audio source on, at the bottom there, which I'm just using an iPhone at the moment. Once you're all set up and ready, just press the big green button. And it'll load it up into like a full screen video just there. You can uh, press these buttons at the bottom. You've got the green microphone to mute it. So it's muted at the moment. And you can also press the little eye to turn the video feed on and off. So if you ever need to mute or anything like that, it's easy to do. do, do. I can't even talk today. So to get this now into OBS, as you probably see at the top of my screen, all we need to do is copy that URL into an OBS browser source easy peasy so to do that I'm gonna bring this up just now I'm gonna get rid of the phone and we're gonna we're in OBS with a blank slate I'm gonna add a source and I'm gonna use a browser source I don't know the alphabet I'm just gonna call it browser for now it comes up like this I'm, I'm hoping you guys have used these when you're using overlays from like stream elements and things like that I'm just gonna change the width to 1920 and also the height to 1080 because that's the resolution that we're using and so to add this in let's pull up our phone so what have we got there it's obs oops not 9 obs obs dot ninja slash question mark view obviously you'd copy and paste this equals 7 z m h x t q sorted and then just hit enter. One thing before you do that, I do like to put control audio via OBS because that'll allow you to change the audio layer levels as well uh, really easily. So once that's done, press OK. It'll take a second to load up and then you should see my beautiful face appear. It get, it's a little bit laggy to start with. So bear with it a second and it starts smoothing out. Again, it depends on the internet. There we go, it starts smoothing out just there. So you've got me up now full screen. Uh, I'm not on Wi-Fi, I'm just using 4G at the minute and you can see that it's obviously quite quick. We're only streaming in 720 actually. So I could have done with changing the, uh, the resolution as well. So make sure that matches the video feed that you've got. If I turn it landscape, it'll swap as well. So straight into landscape. This can be completely anywhere. I know my phone's plugged in right now, um, so I can get the feed onto OBS, but that is all you need to do to get your phone working inside OBS, easy peasy. It's so powerful, so easy to do, and I'd recommend it for pretty much anybody. 
because it means I'll give you some of the ideas that I'm doing at the moment. So I want to make the most interactive stream as possible. And the way that I'm doing that is putting all, all the power in, in the viewers' hands. So when I'm playing a game now at the moment, I've been playing a lot of Valorant uh, in GTA. I'm getting the guys that I'm playing with to share their screen using OBS Ninja. So it doesn't kind of use too much internet for me and harm the stream itself. But then viewers can change what video game feed they see at will. I know it sounds a little bit chaotic, so come and stop by twitch.tv slash Andy Lippy and I'll show you some of the things that I am doing. Hopefully, hopefully you do like what I have got going on, okay? And if you've got any questions or anything like that, if there's anything you want me to cover in any of these videos, just let me know in the comments below. Make sure you do like if I have helped you out. If you, like I say, if I haven't, let me know. And hopefully I'm gonna keep adding more and more content to this and show you some more stuff. Put your rock by the stone, subscribe, let's go!